No, oh, what a cute little base this is. Now let's fuck it up. Hey YouTube, what's up? General Tony here, coming back with another very exciting episode for you today. We are going to be looking at some of the worst base designs that I've seen so far in 2015. So without further ado, let's go straight into the first one. I hope you enjoy. So here we go straight into the first base guys and this is a typical, just typical rushed base. He does not know that double and triple walls are not going to help him when someone brings wall breakers into the scene. So let's just go through his base and take that little bit of cute loot sitting there in the center. So cute that dark elixir storage. Let's go for it guys. So we're going to start by picking off some of these outside buildings just to make sure my hordes of troops don't get distracted. We're going to go straight for this double wall here. We're going to take it down. Barbarians are going to come. They're going to rip his village apart. We're going to torture, burn his wives, steal their jewelry and take all of his money. Let's get it done. So in goes the king. The king is the king. So he goes first. Horde of barbarians coming in behind. Sending in the wall breakers. They're coming in extremely fast. Archer queen just behind. Archer's following in. The walls are about to go down. And there they go. The barbarians are into the center of the base. We're going to tear it apart. Tear that archer queen and you asshole. Not the archer queen. The archer tower, sorry. The wizard tower is going to go down. Iron fist has been hit. Mortars are going down. Archer towers are going down. Cannons. Air defenses. Storages. We're going for the loot. The barbarian king has come out to defend his land. But he just got smacked down. There we go, all of the troops are moving into the center of the base now, guys. The elixir storage is getting taken. Elixir? Dark elixir, sorry. Elixir is going down now as well. It's just too many archers for the center of his defense to deal with. The archer queen is there backing them up. She's the bitch that everyone wants to try and beat. All those little archer towers in the corner are shooting at me. And that little baby cannon there sitting, firing his little balls at me. But the archer queen has taken bigger balls than that before. Looking at her size, she can deal with them pretty well. So we've still got the royal cloak ability to use, guys. The Archer Queen's taken out so many defenses already. We're going to use her Royal Cloak ability pretty quick. There we go. She is in. She has taken out four, five cannons, three or four Archer Towers. And that is pretty much all that's left. They just have one little last Tesla to defend the keep. Is it going to stay there or are we going to get the three stars? Let's see, guys. Only time will tell. So there's not much time left on the map. But we've literally taken all of this guy's loot. He didn't even have much to begin with. But we just decided to punish him just for the simple fact. Just look at the horrendous base build he's made. I mean, this must have taken him about a minute to build. He's probably thinking to himself, yeah, no one's getting inside of my base. No one's going to get that dark elixir. I've got so many walls surrounding my base. He probably even thinks that these purple walls are strong as well. But no matter what, we've got an Archer Queen going around the base. Let's just speed this up, see what damage she's about to do. She's taken out the barracks as quickly as she can. Is there any troops left up here? We've got one Archer pinging that little elixir collector up there. And I think that's pretty much it. We're going to work on the town hall now. Let's just speed this up. She's finishing that off, taking it down as fast as she can. Level 8 Queen going to work. Out pop the Larrys. Larrys are no, no problem for her. Oh, the big bomb just took her out as well. 99% guys, 43k gold, 57k elixir and 444 DE, it wasn't the loot that we were looking for but we definitely gave his base a good battering. Here we go guys, straight into base number 2 and little dragon 009 thinks this pretty little star base is going to be able to protect his loot. Little does he know once again that we have jump spells, we got rages, we got healers, we got some wizards, we got some wall breakers, we are bringing it now guys, we are going to go for the loot in the centre of the base. Let's just show him why this is a bad base build, putting two storages in the same compartment directly next to each other. Three inside of that one and then one in its own in that compartment. He should have spread them out a lot more. This base is not hard to get into, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh, the king's taking out the king. What's going to happen? Level 12 king. V's level 5. Level 5's going down and he's gone already. In come the horde of barbarians now, guys. We've got some Harry Potters in there. Little Ron Weasley's running through. we got the Archer Queen doing our thing. She's taking out those defenses as fast as possible. More barbarians rushing in on the right. We've got some on the left. We've got a jump spell, which we're about to use. Where are we going to place it? Where are we going to place it? They've already broken into the second compartment. Jump spell, hill spell, whatever spell that is. Both have been placed down there. One more rage available as well. Look at those barbarians jump over that wall. They are Olympic athletes today, guys. We've still got the royal cloak ability to use. The rage has been used on the iron fist. We've managed to take out so many of these defenses already. All the loot is now ours. They've got, what, 5, 10k left loot left on the table. That's just in these little storages, collectors up here probably. This has been a real easy base to take down. Oh, little old Harry shooting the wall as usual. We got the Queen shooting that wall. That's all they usually tend to do. We got the little baby cannon, little baby Tesla. They're able to do nothing really. 
Ooh, that jump spell's still going. 40 second jump spell for the win. Queen shooting another wall. She's going to die now because she's a retard. But that's okay. Let's just speed it up, guys. Once again, we managed to destroy this guy's base. Literally just punished him for the poor design. Square design with little star kind of sides. We got 184,000 of his gold, 134k elixir, and 582de. Not bad at all. So we are back in camp, guys, and we're going to be going in for a live raid. We're going to see how long it takes us to find a seriously bad base design. We've got a good army composition coming with us. It's just going to be balloony and balloons and minions. we got the king ready, the queens on deck as well. Do we have any clan castle troops? Nope, let's just request any clan castle troops. We've got a full hill spell factory, though. Hill spell factory, a full spell factory. Two rages, one hill, one jump. We're going to go straight into it, guys. We'll be back when we're in the live raid. And here we go, so it took us about three to four minutes to find this base. And not only is it rushed, but just look at the way he's placed his defenses. Now I'm gonna try something different here. I'm gonna try and take this base out with as little troops as possible. So we can see we've got 24 uh, balloons, we've got 50 minions, we've got the king and queen. Let's just see how many troops it takes us to take this base out. So I'm gonna break it down like this. I'm gonna take out the air defenses first and then take out the archer towers. And then that's pretty much it. The base is then free roam from then. So we're going to start with the air defenses. There are only three of them. The rest of the uh, the fourth air defense hasn't been built. So this guy is an extremely rushed base. So they're only like level one and two. So let's just send in, I don't know, three or four in each one. Then that should do it. And then for the archer towers, let's just send in a couple there. We'll keep the rest of the balloons. And we're not going to send in any more troops. We're not going to use any spells. I'm going to show you why this is an extremely bad base. These wizard towers aren't even able to take out my balloons. Look how bad they are. It's literally embarrassing. We've got so many balloons left. They've literally been unharmed. The, the archer towers took out, I think, one or two balloons. The air defense maybe took out one. The uh, wizard towers, I don't even think they've taken out, like, together they've taken out two to three balloons max. They're just literally destroying this base so fast, guys. Is that the last defense already? That is it. So we are down. Look how many defenses they had. This is probably the worst base I've ever seen this year, definitely. The, the defenses were all placed together. The base build itself, the actual base layout isn't terrible. It's actually a decent base layout, I think. But the troop, the uh, the way he placed his defenses, which is still partly the uh, the base layout, has been so bad. He must have a few more Tezzas hidden around the base. Let's just send in the king and the queen to clean up. We're going to go for the three stars here. We're going to punish this guy just because it's so bad. Let's just take his trophies, make him see why you don't rush your bases, and make him see why you do not place all of your defenses in the exact same spot. Surely this base is a troll base, and the guy didn't really mean it. Or he might have just rushed it for the fun of it. But whatever. He's getting punished for it. The balloons are going to work on his elixir collectors. He's literally got nothing left already. We're on 85%. We're going to take this out with a couple of minions just to hurry it up. Drop a couple of minions on that shit. Drop a, more, a few more there. We've got three minions more we'll use. There we go. So we've used 10 minions. We used 15 balloons and 10 minions, guys. That is the amount of troops we've used to take out a town hall mine. Very, very underdeveloped base. Probably one of the worst bases I've ever seen. So there we go, guys. Those are three of the worst bases I've seen in a very long time. I don't know what your thoughts are if you've seen a lot worse. If you have, maybe comment below. Let me know what they are. If you have screenshots, maybe send them to me and I can put a nice little compilation together. I'd like to give a shout out to two of my friends, guys, TGI and we to run I'm going to post their channels as well, guys. They do Clash of Clans videos as well, so just check them out if you want to. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.